Hi there. I just wanted to show you the um, stick pins that I've made for my sisters. And what I've done is I've used Coca-Cola bottles, the plastic part, made the little flower in the leaves, glued on a, um, a bead cap and some other beads and then put a Swarovski crystal and hung a little charm. And to keep it all there because it was really hard to glue with a glue gun, I used the back of an earring. Just slide it down, it's actually pushed in quite hard. But if you can see there, I'll just check how you can see that. See the back of the earring and then the end of it. So it's the whole stick pin. So I just thought I'd quickly show you how I made these. So that's some more there. They came out beautiful. So again, you need the three circles and you need to cut out three circles out of just the plastic from the Coca-Cola bottles. And there's my template here with the three circles. And I just use the plastic off pop bottles or Coca-Cola bottles or whatever, but it's got to be the clear plastic. These they actually got ribs in I think these were like Sprite bottles. So you cut your circle. And what I'm going to do is I'm, I've done one already and you colour them in. So I've coloured in both sides with a red sharpie. And I'm just going to show you. Now usually I would melt these over a candle but I used this here because I wanted the flowers as you can see. I wanted them smaller on the stick pins. Now these are I think they're like six inch stick pins. I think they're a bit long but yeah I think they've come out really nice so they're Christmas gifts so I'll quickly show you so all you need to do is turn this on and you need to hold it up underneath it and get it to curl in really see how easily it's curled in and I want it to curl quite in quite a lot it gets quite hot that's the only thing yeah no that's great so see how I've got that sort of flower shape already I'm just gonna. I'm only gonna do one. I won't do all three. Again, I've got a tutorial on how to actually make these flowers, and I'll put the link um, at the bottom of this YouTube video. So I just want to melt a hole. See, I've got a nice hole in there now. Let's move that out of the way. And these are the stick pins. So what I do. So imagine I've done three. So I'm only doing one. I put a bead on it. These are glass beads and they were really cheap. I actually ended up buying the necklace rather than buying the beads separately. Wow that came off. Um, because um, it worked out really cheap to buy it in a necklace. So you just slide the bead on and then you just layer the flower on like so. So it will look like this here with the three. So that's my largest one and that's quite nice. So imagine you've done that. And what I did with the leaves is I wanted them to curl more. So you need to hold it there and just watch it. See how it's curling? See how that comes down? And that's kind of the look you want. So you want a nice little curled leaf. It's all just get that to curl a bit more. That's perfect. Bend it in. I still bend them in. And I'll just do it on this one. See, I cut my leaf shape and then I just fold it in half. And then I just melt on the sides just to get it to start to curl. And see how you get that really cute little bendy leaf thing there. So I'll melt it down a bit more. And what I try and do is see how I've kept that slightly flat because you want that to sit up under the base of that flower. And see how you get that look there. So I'll just put a hole in it to show you. Just about run out on my candle. Right, I think I have run out of my candle, but no worries, I have another one here. Just melt that down. I thought it was easy just to show you part of making a flower rather than go through the whole process. So here we go, we just push that little leaf here. And see it sits flat there. So when you come to glue it, you're gluing the flatter part in, which is much better. This one here, that's quite flat there. I'll probably put that one like this here. But anyway, so I've got my leaves on, and then I would use a little bead cap, like so. Put that out of the way. 
and this is the only part I actually ended up gluing was the bead caps and the plastic because I just I tried with the glue gun and it wouldn't stay so I had to end up using this glue here the E6000 it was the only glue that would really hold so I, I actually glued this on put a peg on it to hold I used a, a wooden peg and I would push it down like this just push it on like that so I'd glue it leave it and then come back and just layer it on add your other beads another bead in here and you can just actually do whatever you like I wanted to put a I bought these beautiful Swarovski crystals off eBay I wanted a really nice crystal on each of them for my sisters I can't see that hole sorry about that and so on and you build it up you can actually try and glue them onto this it, it, nothing really glues and that's what I use I use the back of veneering the silver ones to hold it up so that's just a Billy basic one that I've shown you there but that's how you build it up and you end up with these beautiful stick pins and I've made them so that they can put them in their hats or wear them on their lapels or just put them through a scarf but they've just come out so well and I added a little charm one of those there and that's a little bead spacer and then the earring backs the crystals and each of the center um, bead matches underneath and that's how it looks like that and it really does sit quite lovely so that's how I made those stick pins for gifts they're really simple just use an old plastic um, coke bottle color it in melt it like that could actually make that even more smaller couple of plastic leaves really simple and you get these beautiful stick pins my other stick pins that I have finished and now up on my Etsy store so go in and take a look um, I've got this set here I've actually added a Swarovski crystal to each of these and a little bead cap um, and this comes in a set of six and you get the little earring backs at the bottom there and these ones here I've just left very plain um, with nothing on them because I thought maybe you, people might want to add their own beads or finish them off how they want to. So there's a set of five for sale and a set of six for sale. So please go check out my Etsy store. I will add the link on how to actually do this flower. Um, and thank you for watching.